Welcome to Eagle News. I'm Dawson. And I'm Brady. We are so glad you could join us today. In today's episode, we will, be, we will report about Eversol Run Middle School news, national news, Ohio news, teacher focus, science news, riddles, technology news, and much more. In Eversol Middle School news, last Monday evening, our parents and students were fortunate to hear the wonderful voices of our EMS students during their choir concert. The students did a phenomenal job performing. If you have lost or misplaced an item while at school, please check the large collection of lost and found down in the comments. We have a large amount of water bottles, clothing, shoes, etc. waiting to be claimed. All items left unclaimed by tomorrow, December 16th, will be donated to charity over winter break. In U.S. news, Big John is the world's biggest triceratops skeleton. It was sold to an American collector in Paris, France. The sale happened on October 21st. The buyer paid 6.6 .6 million euros, had a 7.7 .7 million dollars. This is a record. The dinosaur is over six, 66 million years old. It was found in 2014 in South Dakota. The Triceratops was a herbivore. It is known for having three horns on his head. Guinness World Records says Big John is the largest known Triceratops. Big John died in a, an American flood uh, plain near a river. Its bones sank into the mud. The mud preserved them. In language arts news, learning the art of writing and delivering a great speech is important. A good speech isn't just about being rhetoric. You need the right timing, a good message, structure, and other essential components. Master your public speaking skills with these seven keys to a good speech. Key one, ensure your speech has a point key. Number two, connect with your audience. Number three, have the right tone for your message. Number four, focus on good structure. Audiences often react best when you tell them in the beginning what you plan to share, and then you can offer milepost throughout the speech. Key number five, capture people with a story as people react to stories. Key number six, practice and revise. Spend plenty of time practicing your speech and revising as necessary. And key number seven, leave your audience wanting more. Too many speakers talk for too long. You want to leave your audience wanting more, so keep your speech a bit on the shorter side. In Eagle Sports News, last week was a great week in the world of Eversol Athletics. Our competition cheerleading team began the week by bringing home three state championships to the nest. They competed in the OASSA state cheerleading competition on Sunday at Big Walnut High School. They swept all divisions, building, non-building, and tumbling. So much talent. Time, practice, and hard work went into their routines. And we are so proud of our girls representing our school so well. Our wrestling team had a great week. After defeating Dublin Cells last week, they hosted the rest of the Dublin Middle Schools in a quad event this past Wednesday. The boys wrestled with grit and toughness en route to victories over Carr, Grizzell, and Davis to sweep all Dublin schools. We are so proud of our wrestlers and look forward to what the rest of the season will bring. Our girls' basketball team had a great week. The 8th grade team defeated Westerville, Walnut Springs, Worthing Way, and Worthington Kilbourne to even their record at 3-3, three three, while 7th grade swept Worthing Way and Kilbourne to remain unbeated at 5-0. Boys basketball had a solid week. 7th grade picked up a big win on Tuesday night versus Worthing Way. 8th grade boys dropped two games, but by a total of 9 points. They competed hard and are poised to run to turn the corner. Go Eagles! is on Friday, a high of 40 and a low of 26 and a 20% chance of rain. On Saturday, it's a high of 33, a low of 23 and a 20% chance of rain. On Sunday, it's a high of 34, a low of 23 and a 0% chance of rain. That's the weekend's weather. Have a great weekend. In science news, what is a simple machine? A simple machine is a mechanical device that changes the direction or magnitude of a force. In general, they can be defined as the simplest mechanisms that use mechanical advantage, also called leverage, to, to, manip to multiply force. A simple machine uses a single applied force to do the work against a single load force. The machine can increase the amount of output force at the cost of proportional decrease in instant moved by the load. The ratio of the output to the applied force is called mechanical advantage. In math news, what is a linear equation? Just like any other equation, a linear equation is made up of two expressions set equal to each other. There are some key features common to all linear equations. A linear equation only has one or two variables. 
No variable in a linear equation, equation is raised to a power greater than 1 or used as the denominator of a fraction. In social studies news, what, is, what was the Oregon Trail? The Oregon Trail was a wagon road stretching 2,170 2, miles from Missouri to Oregon's Willamette Valley. It was not a road in any modern sense. The parallel roads leading across endless prairie sh sagebush deserts and mountains from the 1840s through the 1880s. Thousands of thousands traveled westward, carrying only a few, a few belongings for the journey and settling on the western fornier for uh forever <laughs> changing the american west fur trading post began spring up throughout interior the oregon trail has attached such interest because of its central feature of one of the largest mass migrations of of people in u.s history between between 1840 and 1860 from three 300 thousand and 400 travelers uh traveled the 2000 mile overland route to reach Washington, Washington, Oregon, Utah, and California destinations. In National Day calendar news, today is Dewey Decimal System Day, National Padlock Day, National Paperclip Day, and Nobel Prize Day. In health news, what are antibiotics? Antibiotics are medicines that help stop infections caused by bacteria. They do this by killing the bacteria or by keeping them from copying themselves or reproducing. Any drug that kills germs in your body is technically an antibiotic. Before scientists first discovered antibiotics in the 1920s, many people died from minor bacterial infections, like strep throat. Surgery was riskier too, but after antibiotics became available in the 1940s, life expectancy increased. Surgeries got safer and people could survive. People could in survive. social and emotional news, having a positive attitude is very important in life. A positive attitude is the first step to having a growth mindset. By having a positive attitude, kids can learn to be more optimistic and see the bright side of things. This is this week's Eagle Recognition Awards. Ariane Carbanda, Acceptance, Respect by Ms. Grieco. Addie Schott, Driving Ownership by Mr. Armstrong. Kaya Gondroth, Service Minded by Ms. Williams. Mr. Ava, Williams. Ava Ketcho, for Having Ownership by Mrs. Phelps. Jake Hurt, Ownership by Ms. Emmons. Will Garcia, for Being Service Minded and Having Ownership by Mrs. Phelps. Gail Wayham by Ms. Burka. Tavon Fluid for being service minded by Mrs. Walter. Last but not least, Landon Kidd for acceptance by Mr. Luca Delgatti for having ownership by Mrs. Keck. The inspirational quote of the day is the best view comes after the hardest climb. I think this means the greatest rewards come after great challenges. Well, that's the Eagle News for today. If you have a story you would like to be have featured on Eagle News, please let Mr. McNeil know. Here at Eversol, we are cre creating a community of excellence and by being positive, working hard, and respecting our uniques of ourselves and, of, and each other. See you next week and have an amazing day.